Welcome back to another edition of Card Talk. Today, we're going to talk about the newest Hall of Famer, Mr. Tony Oliva. There's his 64 Topps Giants card there. So Oliva was signed by the Twins in 1961. He earned his starting job in 1964 and really never, never looked back. In 1964, he was the runaway winner of the AL Rookie of the Year with a league-leading 323 batting average, 32 home runs, 94 RBIs, to go along with an AL high 109 runs, 217 hits, and 43 doubles, while tying the rookie record for total bases with 374. In 65, there was no sophomore slump. He became the first player to win two batting titles in his first two full big league seasons, made even more impressive by the fact that he injured his knuckle uh, in the first couple weeks of the 64 season, which required surgery after the 65 season. And then in 1966, it was just more of the same. He led the league in hits again for the third straight year, but lost out in the batting title race and the MVP race to Triple Crown winner Frank Robinson. So through 64 through 71, he really enjoyed a nice stretch of dominance. He led the league in offensive categories 15 times uh, before his career was cut short by a uh, nagging knee injury. He finished with almost 2,000 hits, 220 home runs, a 304 lifetime batting average, 329 doubles, Rookie of the Year, one gold glove, an eight-time All-Star, and three batting titles. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, he joins his teammates Rob Crew and Harmon Killebrew and uh, fellow countryman Minnie Minoso in Cooperstown this summer. And I'll leave you with one fun fact. He hit the first ever home run by a designated hitter in 1973 off none other than fellow Hall of Famer Catfish Hunter. If you guys feel like doing some light reading and some extra research, here's a great book. Tony Oliva, The Life and Times of a Minnesota Twins Legend.